Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Got Lex. When you search YouTube and look at various videos, there you always stumble across a video saying, I often get asked something. And usually it's just the author trying to talk about a subject that he or she wants to talk about and having some sort of um, interest in it from uh, other people than he or she herself. But one of the things that I've been asked a lot, and this is no bullshit, uh, the past year is how uh, how much did it cost to have your bike painted like that? Who did the design and what was the process in general? So I decided that I wanted to make a video about it um, and just try to go uh, through the process step by step. So. If you want to get a custom painted bicycle, the first thing you need to find out is what kind of design do I like? If you're like me and you don't have the skill to do it all yourself, um, you need someone to help you along with getting the right design and having the, the files um, created so uh, the people will have something to work off. But the first thing I did was I went to Pinterest created a board and just started searching for various topics custom bicycle paint custom design custom bikes custom you name it I didn't limit myself to road bikes I even included some mountain bikes and some fixie bikes and motorcycles even and basically if I saw something cool if I saw a pattern if I saw a, a font or anything else I pinned that and that um, gave me a library where I could just watch all these different um, pictures of various bike designs and I didn't limit myself at all I, I, I went really broad from I kind of like this to I really like this to I like the color in that um, on that part of the frame and I don't like that blah 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 so after uh, a couple of weeks of just searching everything, uh, I even uh, Googled pictures. I went on Instagram finding pictures and just made screenshots and uploaded them to Pinterest. Um, so after a while, I looked uh, through all the pictures and started getting an idea of what I really wanted. Um, and some of them went in all kinds of directions. So I had the design pattern down and then I had some pictures with the colors I like to use. So the next thing I did was to find out who could make, uh, who could do this for me. Um, so I went on Instagram, started looking at different custom bikes and I stumbled across uh, a guy called Not Enough Sweets on Instagram. Um, the guy behind the, the profile is a guy called Ronald Jones, who actually works for Specialized as a graphical designer and do, does a lot of the, uh, the paint jobs for the bicycles and also the custom things. So I basically sent him an email um, saying, uh, hi Ron, I don't know, if, uh, I've been uh, following the work that you've done and I really like it a lot. Uh, is it possible to do stuff like that for a regular guy like me? And he quickly replied that, of course you can do that and I can look at his website. I'll put uh, the link and the, to the website and the Instagram profile in the description below. So we chatted a big bit back and forth trying to figure out um, or I needed some information on how much it was gonna, going to be, how the design files were going to be made and all that kind of stuff. So when I finally uh, took the plunge and uh, decided that I wanted to do this, I sent him maybe 10 or 15 pictures of what I wanted. And in my case, I wanted the the camo design. Uh, he was actually the one who did the Peter Sagan bike uh, with the camouflage that he won the, uh, the, uh, the world championship in 2015. Um, so we had that design and we quickly found out that we could take the existing the existing uh, template that he had used and just pretty much swap the colors out. And he also came back with some ideas of maybe doing a, a, a two-tone bike, if you can call it that. So on one side it has um, 
some uh, some colors and on the other side it has a different color uh, which I really like so we went back and forth just ping-ponging ideas and he created some templates and some drafts for it um, I had an idea that I wanted the S-Works logos on the down tube to be uh, a bit camouflage uh, related as well but when I saw the the drafts of it it just it, did, it didn't work so we went with the the high vis um, solution so the next thing after all this back and forth and settling on the design was to figure out how I was going to get it painted because I'm in Europe I'm in a country that uh, is located in Europe and that means that if I have to do anything in the US I have to pay customs and VAT and that could be quite expensive so I already had the frame and one of the solutions that I could do was send ship the frame to uh, the states and have Ron paint it for me. Um, he didn't mind doing it, but uh, we quickly came to the um, to the conclusion that it would be better for me to ship the frame to Italy down to Lumar Colors and have it painted down there. Now, what they do isn't actually painting. Uh, for this type of design that I chose, um, they print out large decals that they put on the frame and then clear coat it. It still, it still is a pretty uh, time consuming process because they have to cut all these decals by hand and place them on by hand and remove the old paint by hand. So, But if they had to do it with a real paint and not just printing it, it would take... I don't even know how long, 20, 30 hours to, to do a bike like that. And uh, therefore the price would increase. So he basically contacted Lou Marcales as they do a lot of the, the specialized team bikes. And they had no problems with doing my frame as well. So they, he sent the files to them. I sent the bike down to Italy and they basically wrapped it all up um, and got it, uh, gave the clear coat and sent it back to me. So that's basically the process of having your own custom bike built. You could also have sent it down to, or over to the States, but that would mean when it had to come back that I would pay uh, VAT and, um, and toll as well uh, when it arrived in Denmark again, which is something that I had already paid for actually. So, that solution didn't actually work. But if you're in the States, it's a lot easier to do so. So to sum it off, the, the process of getting a custom painted bike is pretty easy. If you can, if you want it painted, you can do that. If you want it decaled like I did, you can do that. The price will, will vary, of course. The last time I talked with Ron and when he did this project, he uh, charged about $100 an hour. I don't know if, if his prices have gone up. And for my project, because he could do um, use an ex existing uh, template for it, um, it was about I can't really remember it was four hundred or five hundred dollars, so about four and five hours uh, for him to do so. So that's just for the design, and the paint from Lumar Colors is four hundred euros. Um, again, you have to call them or write them to to get uh, a real quote about it. Uh, but for my bike, at least, it was five, uh, 400 euros. So all in all, I've paid um, less than $1,000 for a custom paint job. And that's with the design from one of the specialized um, uh, designers. And it's with paint from uh, a trusted uh, partner with Specialized that actually does all the team bikes. So that's basically it. Go and find your inspiration. Um, try to be as open-minded as possible. And then after you get all the inspiration that you need, try to limit yourself and have the designer do his part, which is basically grabbing your ideas and making them come to life. Um, so yeah, that's about it. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, of course, if you like my videos, subscribe in the button down below. Uh, and I'll keep you posted. Um, the last thing, the the bike should be ready at Lumar College this week. If you followed my other videos, you know that I'm actually going uh, to have a new bike with the exact same paint scheme that I did last year. But 
is down at Lumar College right now, probably being finished uh, at the moment. I'll put links to uh, Ron and his website, and also a guy called Made Rad by Tony, who also does some amazing custom things, and as well to Lumar College, which is the company I used in Italy to have my bicycle painted. So until next time, bye.